April 10th, a punctual Marilyn arrived on the set for makeup and costume tests. But to her surprise, George Cukor did not show up to supervise and direct. And I think it was a big mistake for Cukor not to have done that because she was there at her best and she had to take it as a put down. I'm sure she did. But despite Cukor's absence, Marilyn's performance convinced everyone that she was in top form. And I was so happy because they were brilliant. I mean, she looked extraordinary. She was at her best. Weinstein couldn't wait to share his enthusiasm with the star herself. But when Marilyn was several hours late for their scheduled meeting, the producer raced over to her home in nearby Brentwood. When I come there and she's spread across her bed, practically nude, and really out. So I called Romy up and then we called her internist. And uh, they came running over. And this was the first time, and I knew we were in trouble. Weinstein was shocked at the sight of Marilyn Monroe, unconscious from an apparent overdose of sleeping pills. And I went to the studio and I said, listen, we got to postpone this picture. I don't think she's going to be ready. We're going to start shooting in about three weeks. And I said, what happened? She said, oh, no, you're being melodramatic. I said, I tell you, the girl is not able to do this yet. I said, if I came and told you she just had a heart attack, what would you do? She said, well, we, we would wait. I said, what's the difference? She says, she had a heart attack. We couldn't get insurance. With this, we can't.